Hey guys, my name's Tom, and today we're going to be talking about how to create a FUTS track for Dialog in both DaVinci Resolve and Avid Pro Tools. So first off, what's a FUTS track? Somebody calls on a phone, or there's a walkie-talkie, or a radio, or anything where the voice needs to sound processed through a uh, speaker, you will generally have a dedicated track called a FUTS track. And I'm going to show you kind of the way I like to do it, which makes the most sense to me. And, uh, you know, there's so many different ways you can actually do this in Resolve on the actual clips so that wherever you move the clips, they're going to be futz. But the problem with that is if you change the edit point or if a whole bunch of clips need to be futz, you're going to be just copying and pasting settings and it's just going to get really cumbersome. So the easy way to do that, if we go on a screen share, here in Resolve, we've got this little scene with a uh, motorcycle and a truck and a phone call. So when we're in here, you know, we're in full screen motorcycle, then it, he should sound just like, you know, it's in a helmet. But when we hear him over this, uh, this guy shot, Josh, we need to hear his voice sound like it's coming through a, um, you know, his, his cell phone speaker. So just to play it raw, so you can kind of hear what's happening. This is what it sounds like with no processing. It's just raw audio. What happened to the Dodge Caravan? Needs an ignition coil. Pull over. I need it back. I know this is important to you, especially with everything that happened with your dad. So on that cut here, we need it to change to a futz sound. And the way we're going to do that, the, the right way, the professional way to do that in Resolve is to not even mess with the clips. Just go to your Fairlight tab, and we are going to create a new track, a mono track, because dialogue tends to be mono. And we're going to call this futz. Now, if you have a lot of different futzes, you know, different speakers like phones, uh, radios, walkie-talkies, PA, overhead PAs, maybe a car, like it's playing through the speakers of the car, create as many futz tracks as you want and just name them like this is going to be phone. But I might have one that's like futz car or futz bullhorn or futz whatever. Just the nice thing about the Fairlight tab in DaVinci is you can create tracks for these that you just drag clips onto. So I know from experience that phones tend to have a very uh, band limited sound. So before I even drag this clip into the FUTS track, and really ideally we would call these like DX1, DX2. Let's just do this now while we're here, DX3, DX4, there. More organized now. So anyways, we've got the tracks named over here and you can scroll Unfortunately, with you know the window window layout you might have, you might have to like drag stuff to find it because we see DX1 through 4 and our FUTS track is actually hiding over here. Uh, and I'm not super comfortable with Resolve, so like, okay, that's about as big as we can make it. Um, so what we're going to do here is the very first thing we're going to do is just change the EQ setting. So you've got your dynamics here, and you can change the order if you want. It doesn't super matter for a futz track but let's just start by changing the eq and again i'm i'm sort of new to resolve so i'm coming at this from an audio background where like pro tools is very oh general telephone effect let's see what this sounds like cool i mean we'll just start with that and the good thing about this is it's got makeup gain applied so having this on the track means that this is this track is always going to sound this way if i don't put any automation on here I should be able to just drag this clip down to my FUTS track, and let's see how it sounds. Why'd you have to bring it back, man? What happened to the Dodge Caravan? Needs an ignition coil. Pull over. I need it back. Cool, that's too hot. We'll bring it down quite a bit. Needs an ignition coil. Pull over. I need it back. I know this is important. Cool, and we'll have to, we'll do like a fade on here, I think. Yeah. There we go. An ignition coil. Pull over. I need it back. Look, I know this is important to you. You know, I'm gonna add sound effects and all that to that later. But for just having a quick futz track, it's great. And now, if there's okay. other clips down the road, uh, let's see. It looks like here there's a within. Yeah. So we cut. Now Josh needs to be futzed. If I wanted him to have a different sound, I could do a second futz track. But I kind of want the same sound, so I'm just gonna drag that down. Buddy. 
And then, so there, we do need to have him come back up. And now I'm really gonna show my ignorance on here. And uh, there we go. Cool, I did some, I actually cut the audio without having to look at the manual. So we can just drag him back up here. I hope your leg is healed up enough. To keep up with the champ. Cool, I need to go and mix this and you know, even out the levels. One thing I will tell you though, just coming from a dialogue editing background, having the same type of uh, info on the same tracks is super useful. So I actually have him on DX3 for this whole scene, so we're just gonna keep it at that. Let me just preface this by saying DaVinci Resolve is still super new to me. Uh, I'm an audio guy and Pro Tools is like, you know, it's like putting on an old pair of jeans uh, thank you for your patience with me on Resolve. I'm still learning. I'm gonna try to transfer as many skills as I can from Avid Pro Tools to that software, but you know, it's kinda hard to teach an old dog new tricks. In Pro Tools, it's way easier for me because like I said, I've been using this for like 20 years. So it's the same exact setup. Obviously this is a mix session, so there's a lot more tracks, but you can see down here, I've got Futz tracks. I like to color code them. I usually do some kind of hot color, pink, orange, yellow, whatever, that's just different from the dialogue tracks. Um, but I did the exact same thing here where it's a second set of tracks. So you could, if you wanted to make things very difficult on yourself, just leave these on dialogue tracks and futz them with automation. But like I said, best thing is just slap an EQ on there. Uh, you could do compression too, you know, heavy compression. I, I tend to smash things a little bit on Futz tracks just to get them to break up. And it's the same exact deal. Uh, we have clean dialogue up here that's been nicely edited. And then we have our Futz phone call down here. And I'll show you what it sounds like. This is going to be a little more polished because it's got, you know, noise reduction and EQ on it. Dodge Caravan needs an ignition coil. Pull over. I need it back. Uh, I know this is important to you, especially with everything that happened with your dad and all. So give it back. Uh, can't do, buddy. I hope your leg is healed up enough to keep up with the champ. So that's it. That was just the dialogue stem. You can see I even backfilled this motorcycle shot. I actually cut some, uh, some kind of fill underneath to really make it seamless. But the Futz tracks, the, the actual like having separate dedicated tracks for futzing is I think kind of a nice easy way to go. It's super easy and it's it's very flexible. Like you could take this and do any EQ setting you could add. Sometimes I'll add a really short delay or like a, a phase delay effect so you really get some comb filtering. You can also just do the comb filtering with EQ. So it's super flexible and uh, it's not that hard to do, and I've, I've been asked about Futz tracks. So this is how you do it in Pro Tools. Uh, I showed you guys how to do it in DaVinci Resolve, and you can take the headphones off now. Um, if you guys have any requests for videos, topics you want covered that deal with audio, I'm very comfortable in Pro Tools. I'm getting more comfortable in um, DaVinci Resolve. Uh, Final Cut's pretty, you know, I've used that for a long time. So just let me know in the comments what you wanna see audio questions, usually noise reduction, dialogue editing, those are kind of the hot topics, but anything, sound effects, editing, mixing, sound design, dialogue, ADR, Foley, um, you know, just let me know in the comments what you wanna see, and I'm, I'm gonna do my best to tailor the content to your needs and your requests. So thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you next time.